Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brittany. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through a delicious and trustworthy buttercream recipe. This is the recipe that I use for all of the cakes that I decorate. I'm going to give you some tips to minimize air bubbles so that you can use this frosting to cover a cake and make it super smooth. And while I'm at it, I'm going to show you a couple of extra things you can do to get your buttercream white if you're looking for that as well. I also wanted to share something with you that I didn't even know existed until just recently, and that is called YouTube Super Thanks. I didn't even know this was a thing until one of you guys sent me a couple of them one day. Thank you so much, Julie. You totally made my day when I received those. I love making these videos for you guys, and I hope to keep making them, and I want to be constantly improving the quality and the content for you. So if you happen to have a specific video that you've really enjoyed or that has helped you out a lot, you can send me a super thanks, and I'll show you where it's at really quick in case you don't know. So I just wanted to share that with you in case you didn't know about that feature yet. Of course, I would be super excited to get some, but I am also grateful for you guys just being here and watching and liking and leaving me comments. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get started on our frosting. Here are the supplies that you'll need. One pound of room temperature butter. I always use salted butter because I don't like the frosting to be too sweet. And I find that it's the perfect amount of salt without having to add your own but of course you're welcome to add your own to taste and use unsalted butter. About two pounds of powdered sugar. If you can find the 10X, get that because it's finer and will help prevent clumping along with sifting the sugar. Two teaspoons vanilla, four tablespoons milk, a large sieve, a stand mixer with a paddle attachment, it's important to avoid the whisk attachment because you don't want to incorporate extra air into the frosting. And to make it extra white, you'll need some violet and white gel food colors. If you want to, you can also use clear imitation vanilla, but personally, I don't think you need to to get a white frosting, so I prioritize using real vanilla instead. The first thing that you'll do is beat all of the butter on low to medium for five minutes. I use level four speed. What you'll see as you beat the butter is that the color changes from darker yellow to lighter yellow and the texture gets really smooth. After five minutes, I wipe down the bowl to ensure that the butter is mixing evenly and then I beat the butter again on level six for just another minute. Now we'll wipe the bowl down again and sift the powdered sugar in two cups at a time and then mix on low until it combines into the butter and the texture is smooth. After the first round of powdered sugar, I like to add in the vanilla as the mixer is mixing. After each liquid addition, I do a quick burst on level four speed to help mix it in. Wipe down the bowl again, sift in two more cups of powdered sugar, and then mix on low until smooth. This time I add in about half of the milk.
Wipe down the bowl again and sift in two more cups of powdered sugar. Same as before, mix on low until it's smooth and add in the rest of the milk. Wipe your bowl down once again, and now sift in about one and a half cups of powdered sugar. This part will be to your taste. So before I decide if I want to use all two pounds, I will give it another mix, wipe down the bowl, and then taste a little bit on a spoon. So I am satisfied with the total of seven and a half cups of powdered sugar. I think it's plenty sweet and I don't want the frosting to start to get grainy. I want to keep it smooth. So now I'm going to mix it on low for another three to five minutes to lighten it up just a bit more. Now before using the frosting at any point, a great tip to knock out any final air pockets is to mix it by hand. Stir it around a bit and you can also use a spatula to press the frosting flat against the bowl to smooth it out more and push out those extra air bubbles. So I took samples at each step to show you how the color has changed throughout the process. So I'm just adding this one. So this is just plain butter before beating. This is the butter after beating. This is the butter, the first addition of powdered sugar, and the vanilla. I just wanted to see how the, the vanilla color affects the, the color of the frosting. It doesn't affect it that much, so I prefer to use the natural vanilla. This is all the ingredients combined before beating. This is all the ingredients, the finished frosting, after beating. And at this point, I actually think the buttercream is pretty great just as it is, but if you want it to be more white than this, I'll show you how with the purple and white gel food colors right now. All right, so I'm going to put a bit of the frosting into each bowl. One will make whiter with the purple and white, and the other one I'll just leave natural, and I'm just putting them in side-by-side -side bowls so it's easier for you guys to see, to compare. So this will be our wider one. And I'm going to add the tiniest bit of purple using a toothpick. Like I'm just dipping it in and then I'm wiping it off. Then I'm just going to like brush it in like that, stir it. And if you add too much, it'll start turning a little bit gray purple. So you want to avoid that. You just want to put enough, and it can be kind of hard to tell, just want to put enough to cut the yellow color. And I feel like it did pretty good. It's nice to have this to compare. I don't know if you can see the difference. It's a little bit wider. Add a sample also. It's pretty subtle, but when you're this close to white already, it's hard to see a huge change anyway. I am scared to add more purple though, because if you do too much, you can't take it back. Of course, in a small bowl, I could add more frosting, but um, I think we've done what we need to do with the purple. 
So now I'm just going to add white. And the white has titanium dioxide in it. And in some countries, that's not even legal <laughs> to put in food. So if you're happy with the natural color and you don't need it to be super white, that's what I would recommend using. But this is just if you really need a white, white frosting. I think it's gotten a bit wider. And to me, this is looking pretty white. So I'm gonna call it good right there. Take one more sample and show you the finished color. I think it got pretty white. It's so hard to tell, I'm sorry. I'll try to get a better shot with my white countertop and these bright white lights. It's kind of hard to see. I'll try to adjust it and show you all the stages. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and that you learned something new. If you did, please give it a like and a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then today's the day. If you'd like to see something else that sweet, just click on one of these thumbnails. Thanks so much for watching today and I'll see you soon. Bye.